Hello everybody and welcome back to Dead Rising 2. We now have less than 20 hours before the military is coming and we still have a few survivors to save until our next case file so that is what we are going to work on. It is definitely crunch time so I'm gonna have to plan my route wisely. There's gonna be quite a few people to save as well so we're gonna get a lot of uh, PP and whatnot. The first thing I'm going to do is art appreciation. There is a man in the Palisades Mall. And for these next couple of survivors, you're going to need approximately $30,000. So keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to have to start paying some of these people to come with us. Not that we haven't already paid uh, a few people, but we're going to have a few more people to pay. I almost went towards the Slot Ranch Casino, which is not what I want to do. I want to take our shortcut uh, to the Palisades through our toilet teleporter. So our quest arrow is going to lead the way. We're going to be going to an art gallery, and it should be here on the top floor. We're going to quickly grab this next guy and run him back to the safe house immediately. But we need to find out what he's all about first. An artist? We haven't ran into an artist yet. Out of all the people that we could run into, we haven't ran into one yet. We've ran into all sorts of other weird people, though. So it looks like he's in here. This is Randolph. And he appears to be very, very upset. So what's the matter, man? He's crying over his life's work, apparently. This is his first painting. Uh, and it was apparently good enough to make it into this art gallery, which I don't understand. It looks like my eight-year-old daughter did that. Katie could do a better drawing than this guy did, but we better not tell him that. He's already pretty upset. So he is going to make us pay for his painting. $3,000 for this crappy painting, and he will also join. So what we're going to do is take him and the painting back to the safe house. If you can carry this painting all the way safely back to the safe house without hitting any zombies with it, and it is in perfect condition, it counts as one of the presents that you can give to Katie. And because this is a unique item, you want to make sure that you get this to her if you're going for the achievement. Because I would say that this item and Snowflake are probably the two hardest things to give to her, of course, because they are unique. And they both require a little bit of work um, to get to her. So as long as you don't uh, try and hit zombies with it, it, sh it should be fine. And I guess I shouldn't complain. $3,000 isn't a lot. We've had to pay some of these people outrageous amounts of money. The three women we escorted wanted us to pay ten thousand dollars for their services and when we went to go uh, gamble and play poker that cost us a hundred thousand dollars so although money's not gravely important in this game unless you're planning on buying things that are really expensive it is good to have because there are people who will not come with you until you give them money for whatever reason that they might have I would go pick up the other survivors, but I just want to dump this painting off, mostly, and get it out of my way. So that was his first painting, and probably his last, seeing his artistic abilities. Here you go, Katie, I brought you a beautiful drawing. But she still likes it, so that's nice. Not only did we pay him for the drawing, but someone gets to enjoy it, so everyone lives happily ever after, I suppose. And back out to the mall we go. So if I take a look at my watch, we now have Shell Shocked, and we have Know When to Fold em. So we're going to do Know When to Fold em first. We're going to be going to the Shamrock Casino on the Silver Strip. And then on our way back to the safe house, we can pick up the survivor as a part of the shell-shocked quest. And by that time, I should have enough time to uh, stop this recording 
and prepare for our next psychopath battle, which we'll be doing next time. So lots of exciting stuff. And right now I think my inventory is in pretty good shape. I have a couple of extra slots, which is definitely what I want. I may have to start making a couple of more items though. I imagine that they're gonna start wearing down soon. My defiler is flashing red. I'm definitely not gonna use this sharpshooter uh, much, or the six shooter, I guess is what it's called. This is the gun that uh, Seymour dropped. This is a unique weapon after we defeated him. So I can probably drop that or use it just for fun. And then I can stock up a little bit more with some more food items as well. And before I uh, go on, what I'm gonna do is get back into my tuxedo. I know, I know, it's kind of boring. We've already worn a tux. But I'm gonna do this now in preparation for our psychopath battle. Spoilers. Plus, Chuck probably doesn't run, ar run around in his underwear anyways. He's much more dignified than that. I'm gonna take a shortcut through the Slot Ranch Casino. And the reason I'm cutting through here is A, it's gonna put us right on the strip where we need to be to be near the survivor, and B, because there's also an item that I want to pick up that's going to help us throughout the remainder of the game. It's a unique magazine that can only be found in one location on the strip. If these zombies would get out of my way... And I'm going to be paying a visit to the bingo hall. If you guys remember, this is where we rescued Sven. And we got uh, some Zombex from him, which was quite a while ago. But there is a magazine sitting on the table that we definitely want to pick up. And you can pick this up at the beginning of the game. And this is what is called the Leadership Magazine. Survivors are more effective while in Chuck's party. So this makes it so any survivor you've had to carry, you won't have to carry them. And that's really helpful at any point in the game, in my opinion, um, especially if you're having difficulties getting people to the safe house. But it's going to be particularly helpful in the last uh, day of the game, which is why I've picked it up now. Um, and I'll explain a little bit more about that uh, later. So we're going to go and visit Bill. He's over here in the casino. And he's gambling. He's trying to get back what he lost gambling. He's got to win his money back and he isn't leaving without it. Of course, Chuck isn't going to be able to talk him out of it, unfortunately. Because he's addicted. He has a gambler's kind of mentality that if he spends a little bit of money, clearly at some point, he will gain it back. He's currently down $20,000, so we're going to pay him his $20,000 and $5,000 more, just because he's greedy. And once you pay him $25,000 out of your own pocket, he will finally join you. So not a difficult survivor to join, unless you don't have the money. He's just greedy, that's all. That's right. He's a greedy old guy who wanted to get his money back. So now that we have him, we are going to head out of the casino and I'm going to drive my SUV all the way across the strip towards the arena and I'm going to enter the American Casino. Our next survivor is in a store that's located just outside of the Americana. We pick him up, go back to the safe house and then that should end things off nicely. Of course, if uh, you don't have the SUV, you might consider taking a different route. Uh, whatever is fastest for you. you. You can also follow your quest arrow if you have the quest selected. So here's the Americana. And if I highlight the appropriate quest, the one that we are doing is Shellshocked. He is in the American Historium. And it looks like he's keeping his own just fine. It seems like he's uh, shooting at some zombies with pinpoint accuracy. So maybe this guy is helpful. 
he can probably hold his own, I'm assuming. But we should probably go check on him, just in case. So it's this way. And this is going out towards the arena. And here is where we are going to find Dean. And he will shoot you, so just be careful when you're approaching him. He'll automatically talk to you once you get close enough. He seems to be some sort of vet, maybe. And you can see he actually has a uh, leg brace, if I show you, if I get in close enough. It looks like a, uh, a metal brace of some sort. He has a bad leg from the last war he was in. And surprisingly, he'll automatically join you. He's a little bit distrusting. Um, he will not let you help him. Now, if I drop my leadership magazine uh, and I start walking, you can see that he's going to walk very, very slowly. Because of the leg brace, he's not going to be able to keep up the pace. And what you're supposed to do is grab the wheelchair and push it towards him and get him to go into the wheelchair. The problem with this is that A, other survivors will get into your wheelchair, as you can see what happened there, which is extremely annoying. And B, the wheelchair breaks after running into a couple of zombies on your way to the Royal Flush. Because remember, not only do you have to get this guy out of the casino, but you also have to bring him back to the safe house. And he takes forever. He is insanely slow, and he will not accept your help. If you offer him a shoulder, he just says to get off of him, basically. He's gonna do it himself, and he doesn't need no help. So, that's why I picked up the leadership magazine. As you can see, he is miraculously cured. He is keeping up a really good pace, and uh, he's gonna be absolutely no problem. So if you're having troubles picking up Dean and he's slowing you down, I would recommend picking that up. I could have done it the hard way, but I honestly can't be bothered. And this magazine is going to be extremely helpful in the last day or so of the game, like I mentioned. But if you are having difficulties, you can pick it up earlier. Uh, you won't have to help people like Jared or Esther. Europa you'll probably still have to carry because she was complaining that the floor was cold, but all the survivors you've had to carry in the past while you have this magazine, uh, you wouldn't have to carry. And with those two escorted back to the safe house, I think it's time for me to rest up, and I will be seeing you guys in the next video where we are going to take on another psychopath. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will be seeing you next time.